The first phase of the Lagos Red Line commenced partial passenger operation on the 28th of August 2024. This was an experience graced by dignitaries and officials of Lagos State Government. Right to the scene is inside one of the trains that will be used on the Lagos Red Line. The interiors, the seating arrangement and all we have inside the train. This is what it looks like. This has been a long-awaited progress for the Lagos Red Line. We have all been waiting for full passenger operation. A bit by bit is getting there. This is the first partial passenger operation. Out of curiosity, you may be wondering, when are they starting full passenger operation? What is the chance that this will start anytime soon? Zero worries, you have OZ, I'm your sure plug. I have been following up on the progress of the Lagos Red Line, showing you the progress achieved on this project, just as an ordinary citizen that I am, you are as well. So what is going on? I took a quick stop at Oyimbo. This is where the first phase terminates and this is what the rail track look like. They have succeeded in putting barriers on the rail track, separating both vehicular and pedestrian movement from the rail track. We have pedestrian bridges, we have overpass bridges at this site. This will ensure trains, vehicles and pedestrians have separate movement from the road and from the track. This has been achieved on the Oyimbo section of the project. And this is not particular to Oyimbo, but a different section of this project. They've built both pedestrians and overpass bridge, which separate vehicle and pedestrian movement from the rail track. This has been achieved at different sections of this project. This is Yaba train station. Yaba train station and Abadu train station. These are the two stations that has one or two things going on. I made a quick stop at Yaba train station to see what the station looked like. Since they've started partial passenger operation, what is going on on the station? This is a highlight from my last visit at Yaba train station. One of the major work going on here at Yaba train station is the escalator. They are trying to install the escalators. Right now, everything is installed from the last floor to the ground floor. Everything is fully installed. So far, we are right at the platform. This is the platform for the Yaba train station. And this is what we have right here. Basically, nothing has changed, but what they've achieved there is enough for commercial operation. Similar to what they're doing at Ikeja, this is a walkway that will bring passengers from the express to the train station. Last time I came here, they were working on the skywalk to connect the skywalk to the express. This will bring passengers up to the station. Coming back to Yaba station after the test running has commenced, this is what I saw at Yaba station. The skywalk has now connected to the express and see what's going on there as you can see. Being the father, the skywalk was one of the major work going on here at the Yaba train station. I personally walked through from the express into the station using the skywalk and this is what they've achieved at a particular point. That is to say, at the Yaba station, they've achieved enough to commence passenger operation. Any other thing can actually work on the side. I get into the station, I notice they are still working, just like I've showed you earlier, they are still working on the station. Meaning that in two weeks time, one month time, Yaba station is set up. There's nothing stopping Yaba from starting operation. The other six stations, excluding Yaba and Agbado, has experienced enormous progress and this is what is going on here at the red line. This is the progress on the Agbado station. This is what is going on there. Everything is at the ground floor. This is Latif Jakonde, a station very close to the Agbado station, which I believe will be an alternative to Agbado station for the red line. On the destroying drive of the red line, Lagos State government officials confirmed that Latif Jakonde most likely will be used for alternative of the Agbado station for the red line when fully operational. This will be pending till the Agbado station for the red line is fully completed. This was a presentation from the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority during the partial passengers operation for the Lagos Red Line. The one for uh, Abadu is currently further construction and just further down. So what we are hoping is that the next few months that will come to the right. But for us to begin this operation, we will be sharing this platform with the NRC so that capture our revenue using the 
As a partial passenger's operation and test running drive for the Lagos Red Line continues, the Lagos State Government and the Nigerian Rail Corporation NROC keep improving and ensuring the rail track are safe for both trains, pedestrians, and vehicles. Mushi Overpass Bridge was recently opened and commissioned for vehicular movement at the Mushi area of the state. This is one of the overpass bridge built to separate vehicles and pedestrian movement from the rail track at the Mushi area. You and I we told this bridge on a separate video more than why you should subscribe to the channel now this is the Oshodi section of the project as you can see that the fenced off or have pedestrian and vehicular bridges here this was the major work going on at Akita station they're trying to put a skywalk that will connect pedestrians from the Abiyokuta Lagos Express down to the station and so far so good the project is finally completed and this is what look like here at Ikeja train station yeah this is the progress achieved at Ikeja we have pedestrian and vehicular bridges here at Ikeja now the fencing continues down to Agbadu where we will have the last station more pedestrian and vehicular bridges will be constructed in the future but for now Lagos State government and Nigerian government are putting work in place to ensure the red line and the Nigerian Rail Corporation ride smoothly on the line. As the red line starts partial passengers operation and test running drive for this project, they keep improving safety and putting measures in place to ensure the red line runs successfully on the designated track that it shares with the Nigerian Rail Corporation. They continue to put measures in place to ensure the success of this project. The partial passengers operation is invitational. That is to say, this is open to the general public, anybody, anyone can come and experience this. It currently run on a scheduled timetable as displayed on the screen. If you want to be part of this, you can do your research or use the link in this video description to fill the form and wait for your invitation. Okay, yeah. So, well, if you um, are sure, I'm not sure that all of you that it's scheduled operation. It's not as easy. This is where I will stop on today's episode. Please kindly subscribe to the channel. In the future updates, I'll be taking you on a ride on the Lagos Red Line, talking to passengers and giving my own opinion riding the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail. I remain your boy, OZ. Follow the one showing next on your screen. Let's continue this conversation.